Do you have any idea how skilled Link would have to be to not only deflect that and have the, the grasp of depth perception to do that, but also to hit it squarely back on him, squarely back on his assailant. That is beautiful skill, and it, it supersedes my skill at actually hitting the A button. That's next to impossible. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we stormed the gate of Hyrule. We are in the castle as I speak. We can leave. We, we are not at a point of no return. But do we need to? Should we? No. You can see I have my best weapons equipped. I am fighting for Hyrule here. And we are dungeon crawling like a madman in this Dark Souls-esque dungeon. So, it's hard to give a, a good state of progress because not being transfixed north, this is very hard to, to grasp. So it's kind of like just wander around until you find something new. And that's that's indeed what I'm doing. Um, because because it looks like we're going to be spending a number of episodes in here, I am equipping my Korok mask for sake for my own sake. Um, and I can't mark I can't actually mark Korok seeds on my map. So we're kind of going back to the old method where I am cutting out my collection of Korok seeds. Um, if it gets too cumbersome, I think what I might do is um, you know what. What I think I might do is just not get any Korok Seeds, ignore them for the sake of story, and just move on, and then maybe come back later. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I, I, this is just kind of a, a trial test period thing. I don't actually know how cumbersome this is going to be, uh, but we will, we will definitely, we'll definitely see. You know what? Uh, <laughs> already I see a problem with this. Already I see the issue of this, be, this is a new area. To find Korok Seeds, I am going to have to do some exploration. Like, right here, it seems simple where it might be, underneath one of the bridges, but I still got the signal up there, I got the signal over here, so I don't know if it's above, below, inside, outside, on top of, and so I think I'm, ma I'm making the executive decision right now to ignore Korok Seeds. After we defeat Ganon, we'll come back here without the, the impending pressure of a story in mind, and we will comb over this area once again and find all the Korok Seeds therein, but also... But also... It just... Uh, it, it's such a, a killer, and th this is the entire reason of, uh, of why I, I switched to just dropping marks on the map and then collecting Korok Seeds after, because it really kills my own... What kind of bow is that? It really kills my own uh, flow, my own tempo to, what on earth? Royal Guard's bow, 62 power. This prototype Sheikah made bow was designed to fight the Great, great Calamity. Made with ancient technology, it boasts a high fire rate, uh, high rate of fire and firepower, but low durability. So glass cannon, got it. Uh, I think that'll just replace my, my falcon bow here. So yeah, it, it really just sucks out all of my mojo to have to stop while I'm commentating, remember what I'm talking about and where I left off, and then pick back up later with uh, trying to remember what I was saying. So for now, I think I'm just going to ignore Korok Seeds. I'm going to make this a bit refreshing to me and treat this very much like a uh, Divine Beast, because it, it's very similar to so. Like, this this 3D layout, the, the, the giant, or the massive amount of puzzles, kind of just... It feels like a divine beast, and I think it's, I think it's good to treat it as such. Okay, we have a book here. Read Zelda's diary. Zelda's diary. This is Zelda's room that we just stumbled across like an idiot. Okay, first page. After meeting with the champions, I felt I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came to my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is signing him as my appointed knight. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to Divine Beast Varudania. I still recall feeling its eyes on me as I walked ahead. 
or his eyes. The feeling stayed with me for so long. I grew anxious, anxious, and weary. It is the same feeling I felt before in his company, and still, not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he is thinking but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then, I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic. He must despise me. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere, so I was feeling depressed, and I told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does. So I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed, uh, he seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty, and that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I am unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, and now more so than ever. He saved me. Without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn, still, he was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologize for all that has transpired between us. And then, I shall try talking to him. To Link. It's worth a shot. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. When, finally he, when I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say. But he did. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. A burden, I, a feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I have always believed him to be, simply be a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I too will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me again today. He told me all, he told me I am nothing more I have nothing more to do with researching uh, ancient technology. He insisted that I instead focus on training that will help me awaken my sealing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed, I could not even speak. I had been training since I was a child, and yet, mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not, a, not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how, how much I try, or how much time has passed, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow I journey with the Link to the spring of power to train, but this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, hallowed in blinding light. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I am sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. I turned 17 today. This, that means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Lanayru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have not seen my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strained now. I will meet with him when I return. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but... Right now, for mo no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. Wow. The best part about that is that we've seen the events that have transpired. We've seen Link's side of things. From her yelling at us earlier on, we just uncovered that memory, actually. She yelled at us and, and told us to leave her alone. And we finally, what, what I had supposed since the very beginning, also I'm pretty sure this is the Korok Seed. Well, that answers that. I guess I'll find Korok Seeds if, you know, I, I actually see them, but if, I'm not going to go tra uh, traipsing around looking for the reading of a uh, of the Korok Mask. But, yeah, what I had supposed about Zelda's character was 100% true, and I'm so happy that my suspicions were confirmed uh, about her taking her anger out on us, and also the reversal 
of, of her role and Link's role in this particular tale. And it's great. While... Who's, who's looking at me? Oh, boy. Oh, I actually hit him. And he forgot about me. Man, these things are so... Oh, wait, wait. Those things are so stupid. You hit them, and then they just completely forget. They completely forget anything ever happened. It's so annoying. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, that, that reversal I was talking about is actually true. It's canon. I was right. And it's it's a great feeling. There, There's so much more to this relationship between Link and Zelda that is a, than is what's apparent in other Zelda games. I mean, I, I still believe that, that Skyward Sword still hit it nail on... Uh, it head on nail on the head wow that i can english uh buddy hello hello thank you i'm trying to kill you now if you would kindly look at me while i do so that would be most preferred i i still believe that in skyward sword there's a lot more to their relationship than any other zelda game like there's a romance there there's there are so many cool elements to that story but still it it's really nice to see that this isn't just cookie-cutter Zelda. While Ganon is the antagonist, I don't think that's... Ne I'm starting to believe that that's not necessarily a bad thing. Die. Die. And he's dead. Cool. I I knew buying these blade, sla uh, blade, blade saws, blade slaws, coleslaw, was a good idea. Okay, but yeah, it's so it's so cool to see that there is more. I thought that was an eye. Uh, what is this? Is this a entrance? Wait, where are we? No, wait, <gasps> wait. Is this the memory? Is this? Oh, this is near the memory, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is right next to the memory. We're at the back side. No, I think the. I think the memory is right down here, so we're we're very close to it. In fact, we can probably just head there now. Yeah, and get the final memory. Uh, it's further down. It's that. It's right down down here, I think. Unless my unless my memory betrays me, I believe that it should be right here. I mean, there's okay. There, are, there's a Korok seed. So I'll pull out the map once again. It could be right behind the Korok Seed as we see it here. Uh, we are... Yeah, I think it's actually behind us. Because, okay, let's let's go to our album. And the memory which I'm thinking of is right... It's this. So there needs to be a ledge above... There needs to be a, a ledge above where we're looking. Which, this doesn't work. But that does, I think. Because there needs to be like a solid, a piece of solid ground. Man, there's so much to this area. It's crazy. Okay, so we'll fly over here. We're currently in quest of the memory. Uh, just as a reminder, we, we need the, both the memory and the final shrine before we are to leave. That That is my goal. Oh, it's raining. Of course it's raining. Uh, throw a bomb? Yeah. Uh, we need the memory and the final shrine before we are to leave. We keep getting bomb arrows, which is pretty sweet. And that's just kind of my personal goal. Oh, but don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Yeah, it's it's my personal goal, and I'm also repeating myself. But it's it's something I think should be done. Uh, for sake of com completion, Link would want to remember everything so he can remember, like, why he's fighting. His memory isn't entirely restored to him. Um, but also, this is kind of a cookie cutter from the, the test of strength, isn't it? But also, um, I would want to be able to be as powerful as possible. Is this not it? No, I think this is it. Here, let's look at the, the picture again. No, I don't, th I guess this isn't it because there are, there are stairs downward leading up to the door so we're still we're not quite on the right track yet this is this is the location that when I was in when I was outside of Hyrule Castle on that that ledge over there I thought this was it but I guess it, it really isn't but there is a door down there which looks kind of cool so we'll we'll go there it's not pertinent but really nothing we do is oh hello that's a dock 
Ooh, that barely missed us. Come on, fire. Perfect. Perfect timing. I was almost a little bit too late there. Okay, so it looks like we have a... It looks like we're going into a gold mine. Maybe we'll... Actually, it really does look like we're going to a mine. Oh my goodness. There's... There's ore on the side. Where... What are we doing? The lockup. We're going to the prison. Oh yeah, that's another thing we're doing. Last episode, we uncovered... Uh, we uncovered one of the pieces of Royal Guard armor. And we can't interact with that. Oh, we can interact with you, though. Not with a uh, bomb arrow. Okay, so that gets rid of this. Why are you in lockup? And why are you armed in lockup? And why is this thing here? That's odd. Oh, it, oh man. Look at this high piece of technology right here. We can unlock stuff. Also peer out the walls. It looks like looks like whatever was in here busted right out. Oh, hello. Busted right out. Man, this is giving me giving me some strong vibes from early Zelda games. Why are you here? Why did Ganon have you locked up? And what is what is this? There's something below us. I guess that's the the vent for them to do their to do their disgusting business and do? I guess. Okay, and in here is, uh, ooh, oh, man, look at that, Royal Guard's Claymore, she could use the very essence of ancient technology to forge this great sword, it was designed to oppose the calamity, but its low durability made it impractical, impractical in battle. Uh, are we dropping anything for this, is my question? Uh, methinks not, because we have, we have quite the arsenal here. So I don't think we we take it. I th I think what our own weapons are still better. I'm sure I'm looking up here. Looks like that guy's door gate is open. Uh, if I could shut that. That's not what I need to shut it. Okay, great. Hello. You can't. You were terribly weak. Wow. So yeah, it looks like we have a bunch of a bunch of cool secrets inside. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, it's one of you. Get over here. Actually, don't, because I want to kill you. And... Freeze him. Deal the finishing blow with our weapon, which is now greatly damaged, so if we find... Actually, we could probably just throw this at the silver enemy, and then go grab that sword. I think we'll do that. What are... Stop it. Stop it. That's, that's not good. That is not acceptable. You. Take that. Just just real quick. I'm, I need to grab a new weapon. Where was that sword? Wait, seriously, where did the... Was that in another room? Was that in here? There it was. Okay, let's, let's check out this claymore. It does 72 damage. 72 damage. That's really good. I mean, it's not as good as a as a Lionel Crusher, but it's really it's still really stinking strong. Oh, that went right through, your, right through your arm. What? This guy's a ghost. Okay, Skrabloosh. knock him to his feet, and oh, yeah, don't don't break that, please. I kind of need that. Oh, he, he can't hit me. That is one of the flaws of these enemies. They they really can't. If you're up close on them, they cannot hit you, and it's it's quite sad. That's a royal bow, which is worthless. Royal bows are... Did he break it? No, he, he was hitting this one. Um, that just shuts it, right? And says it's on fire? We've been in there. That, uh... Do we want to lock this guy? Unlock this guy? I suppose we could. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, it, it already unlocked him. Hello. Just hold still. Hold still. This won't hurt a bit. Uh, you know what? Sure. I'll, I'll use this for your rush. Knock him to his feet. Oy. And then... Freeze him. Break the freeze. Freeze him. Break the freeze. And he's dead. And we get our super cool, awesome prizes. And a blizzard rod? 
Rusty Shield, and Blizzard Rod, which I don't actually need because my Blizzard Rod is just better in every way. And that opened up nothing. Oh, this guy. Oh, this. This guy was working on digging his way out. And he was so close. Look at that. He got like halfway through the wall. Just one strong punch would have been enough. And he would have gotten. Unless this is his tunnel. <laughs> Maybe he dug this. Maybe he built this. Where are we? We're to the side of. We're, we're parallel? And that leads us. In a completely different labyrinth. What what was this guy doing? Was he making, like, the black market? Oh, this guy has a uh, scary spear. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to freeze lock you. Oh, boy. Freeze him. Freeze him. Yeah, that, that guy is scary. I, I faced him in the... Uh, let's see, what is this? I, I faced that guy in um, the major test of strength, and he is he is a nightmare to face. Uh, I actually want to drop this weapon. Like I he did somewhere along the lines of. Did go through here? No. He did like almost all of my health as damage, and it was it was terrifying. And where on earth are we? What is this? What is this thing? What is this malarkey? It's like an oven? Are we in the kitchen? Like, what is this giant thing? Uh, I guess we could fly up. Yeah, I have no clue what this is. There's there's stuff up here. But other than that, what is this thing? Like we can go we can go up to the top. Cool. Oh, there's stuff up. Where is this leading? What is this? It goes all the way down to the prison. I, I kind of want to go back to the prison now. But I'm, I can't really, uh, and I probably can't place a travel beacon? Have we been here? Uh, I'm feeling strongly like we have not been here. Because if we have, we wouldn't have seen that weird spirally thing. Unless we have, we could have been here. Uh, in fact... Yes, we've been here. I, I recognize that pot. That pot was, served me well. Yeah, we, we've been here, we just took a detour somewhere. Or we walked right pa past that, that pit and didn't see anything. Man, this is so weird because this this place is so big. Episodes are probably just going to be like exploration. This episode's probably just going to be exploration without us finding the memory. Without us finding much anything. That was weird. See that weird visual filter there? Yeah, I think I'm going to go back down. Grabbing... Grabbing this obvious Korok Seed along the way, because this Korok Seed is extremely obvious, and it's kind of been what I was looking for. And that Korok Seed actually revealed that there is... It looks like there is a room which we can get in on. Link, I'm trying to have you jump over here. There we go. There's a doorway? No, 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 no. There's a ladder, which led kind of all the way down. No enemies in here, but... A switch? Oh. Now how am I supposed to know what this did? There's no movement in here. We found it like this, so we need to hit it one more. What? Oh, oh. Oh. That's useful. It created an updraft. That brings us to the very top. Well, you know what? That's useful. That's that's pretty useful. Rivali's gale is Thank you, Rivali, but I actually don't need your gale anymore. So now we can go back to the prison. <laughs> and, and and remember this was what we found here is just the uh, very elaborate um, escape route of one of the prisoners. He dug all of this stuff, is is my impression. And this was his Oh, and he's dug even more. And this takes us all the way out, I would presume, out the other side? Man, what? West Passage. I'll say this was a passage. Do you see this? The one guy dug all this. Is how I, is how I perceive it. What is that? Hard-boiled eggs. Uh, okay. We need to cook eggs. That's. This is one of the weirdest quark seeds I've ever seen. Grab these. Throw them in the hot. Is this a hot spring? Hard-boiled eggs. As simple as that. We grab... No, sorry. 
we oh oh I'm a, I'm a derp sorry I I was really confused by that I was like wait but we can't drop the food because it's food no we just drop one in here and then we drop one in there right yeah there was no fanfare that was a bit buggy oh speaking of buggy um you remember a couple of episodes ago when I, I made a comment about how the Korok seeds were all bugged and they they no longer played audio? Well, I actually looked into that, and also here are your eggs if you need if you need some. I looked into that, and uh, what I found out was that it's not technically a bug, but it's just a bad design in the game. Um, if and we need to look for a minecart. Um, it's it's indicative. It happens if you. Um, if you change the settings from surround sound or from stereo to surround sound and you do not have a surround sound television, all voice lines and the Korok seed sounds will make no noise anymore. And they will, they're not bugged, it just, it doesn't tell you and it doesn't um, detect it itself. And you just lose the ability to hear Korok seeds. So, yeah. Also, it looks like, it looks like I'm, I'm heading through this backwards. Oh boy. Well, this is awkward. I should be heading through this a different way. But it looks like I'm heading through it this way. And it looks like I found a, a chest. Man, this would have been really sweet if uh, if I had head through it the, the proper direction. Uh, do I want that? You know, it's in, it's in range. It, it could be something we need. I shouldn't pass up chests. It looks like it's not something we need, but... It's, it's not right of me to pass up chests when when there are a couple of quests on the line here. Man, this would have been so sweet to go through. We would have we would have gone straight into this. And it's still going. And there's our minecart. Like, that, that would have been so cool if we had gone through the back door of this. In fact, I'm tempted to go back through the back door of this because we still haven't fully explored the, uh... Are we forced to? Oh, this is like a total... This is a total secret right here. Man, the rabbit hole goes so deep that this entire area, this entire map is just one big rabbit hole that just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh, hello, chest. I will gladly, gladly grab you if Link works past his PTSD and works up the courage to open a chest. And look at that, look at that goop polluting the basin. And we're at the base. Wow. And I think it's actually wise to go for me to go all the way back to where I was. So I think I'll do that real quick. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure in the meantime how far we are through the episode, but uh, we never quite made it through the... And there's a blood moon? It looks like there's a blood moon. We never made it quite through the, uh, the prison. So I think we'll go back and do that. This would have been so neat to discover it this way, because then we would have ended up in the prison, but as it stands, we're, we're doing things a little bit backwards, which I guess is fine. It, it's not meant to be experienced in a certain way, but I would have loved to have experienced it this way, where you find all this, and you, you're like, oh man, what is this this tunnel? This is, this is not... This is a weird tunnel. And then you, like, take a right here, and then where do you go from here? You go, you go this way and then this way and then you figure out right over here that it's a prison and it's a prison break that been that would have been so cool but as it stands we're supposed to do it we're doing it the lame way and we just have to head this way i think seeing a chest and then it should take us out the other side topaz so go through here go through oh boy really we have to fight the stick in a rancor because that's really what this is. This is just a Rancor fight. This is very Star Wars-esque. Hello. You're just a normal style Nox. I don't care about you. In fact... Boosh. Let's charge up here. Yeah, you know what? Let's use Urbosa's Fury. Let's let's show this guy what who's who is boss. Especially... Yeah, 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 good, good, good. Get up, Link. Get up, Link. Kill him. Sweet. Yeah, especially when we're probably not going to be using Urbosa's Fury on... 
Man, that's, that's kind of weird. Um, we're not going to be using our Bosa's Fury on the, the final boss, so we might as well use it here. Open. This is so weird. Whoa. Okay. I, ca I can deal. A shield passed down through the Hyrulean, it's supposed to be Hylian, that's a typo, uh, royal family, along with the legend of the hero who wielded it. Its defense cap capabilities and durability outshine all other shields. So we found the best shield in the game, just very casually. To the test of the royal guard, strike down the giant foe to become recognized as a knight of the kingdom. Well. We have a... We have a thing. We have a... It's actually kind of small, looking at it, but it's this is the best shield in the game. I believe, reading about it, uh, these shields have like a durability of, say, let's say this has a durability of 70. That durability is unrelated to shield guard, and it's a hidden stat. This has a durability of like 800? 800? So it basically lasts forever. This is hands down the best shield in the game. But I'm gonna continue to use this because it looks cooler. Well, it doesn't look cooler. It just fits my build a little bit better. Well, neat. We have we have acquired that. And uh, let's see, where are we on time? I don't even I don't even know. This seems like a good ending point, but also, yeah, I guess I guess we're at time. Wow. Uh, I guess next episode we're going to continue to explore. Uh, also, next episode, will, for better or worse, will be the last episode in this current recording session. So, if you have been posting uh, comments about what I should what I should do, and what you want I me mean, where I should go to get certain things, I will read them after next episode. Looks like we could have gone and explored there. But otherwise, uh, this next episode will be like the final. It's in there. Will be the final one in the recording session. All right. Thank you so much for watching. On that note, hopefully next time we will find the memory. Oh, hello. Docs. And this guy is very dead. The docs, huh? Man, we're just so, we're finding so many cool things. This is this is one of if not the most fleshed out Hyrule's Hyrule Castle we have ever seen. And it it feels great. It feels so refreshing to see all these things like I'm pretty sure we kind of bumped into the kitchen earlier, and I think we have to bump into the kitchen in order to uh, in order to uh, get that recipe. Oh, point blank dodge! You can die. Whew! All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. Otherwise, join me next time when I continue to explore without your advice, and hopefully we find the memory. Hopefully we find the shrine. The fact that we've explored two episodes now and found neither of those is impressive. That means that we have that we have barely scratched the surface of of this area. And I I presume that we're going to be in here for like four, five other uh, maybe not five, but three or four more episodes after this, which if if you want to see more Breath of the Wild content and you couldn't believe it like me that it was ending, then that set probably is music to your ears and it certainly is to mine. All right, thank you so much for watching. Join me next time when we do some stuff. Explore the docks. For now, I'm gonna find a good vista here. Get out of here. What's in here? An, a study, a king's study. Ooh. Will we get a king's jewel in here? We will. That's a pretty, that's a pretty kingly gift. The writings of Rome Bosphorimus Hyrule. <clears throat> Today, the, as the sun rose and a new day was born, my daughter, too, joined this sweet world. In keeping with the traditions of the royal family...